My name is Izzy, and I'm here to tell you about my history with Costco. I'm gonna go clean that up. <laughs> so this video is gonna be a little bit different. Uh, I'm not gonna be talking about Costco stuff per se, but rather I just wanna give you a little bit of insight on my history with Costco and like how it all started and how I got to now. Kind of like show you my credentials in a sense if you wanna look at it that way. So. I have <laughs> some stuff to show you. I'm also gonna try to do minimal editing on this video. I just want it to be pretty straightforward, just you and me. If you ever see any cuts, it's probably because I'm thinking about what I'm gonna say or I said something weird and I'm just gonna, I'm, I just say it again. It's basically what's going on. But I look, 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 look at all these name tags that I have. So I'm gonna, I went <laughs> so, yeah, let, let's go over them. So this right here. My name is Israel. That's my real name. Uh, I am not from Israel. I have no connections. I am Hispanic and European. That's, uh, I mean, according to 23andMe, that's what I am, but who knows? They could be lying. Anyway, I think this is really cool because this is the very first name tag I ever got. Here on the back of most of these uh, name tags, you'll see the print date. And this is June 25th of 2008. It's like, two days after I got hired and then I went for um or what do you call it the uh <laughs> I can't think of the word <laughs> initiation it's not that well you know what I'm talking about I can't think of the word I'm gonna think about it later I'll put it here if I remember if not leave it in the comment section below oh oh okay anyway I think this is really cool that I still have this so you can see I started in the food court 2008 and I worked in that department for two years and then after that I transferred to the front end and so this is my next tag got some little stickers in the back here is my shortened name Isra front end 53 cashier assistant that was the position so I I used to like just having front end and then my cashier number but there's a moment where they're like no we need your actual like position there so we had to go with our position so 2010, I transferred to the front end and that was great. The front end was actually a really nice change of pace. The food court, I loved the crew that I worked with, but food service is, is hard. And it was a job that I had when I was going to college and uh, it paid really well. The benefits are amazing. I think you'll hear that from just about every Costco employee. The benefits are amazing. The amount of people that own their own businesses that still work at Costco full-time and part-time because of the benefits is, is crazy. Like I, I didn't realize how many there were until I worked there and I got to talk to people. So once on the front end, that's kind of like where you're part of the whole Costco warehouse. Like your job is to be where you need to be. And especially in the holiday season, you get to train in every department, wherever you're needed, you're gonna go there. And I think the most needed uh, departments were bakery, deli, a food court, uh, sometimes the tire shop, and then carts. Although carts, at least in my region, it falls under front end. So there's no carts department and then front end department. We're all the same people. So I was a front end assistant for Let's see, 2012, four years, no, three years. So I was there for three years and then I actually, <laughs> I went to the wireless kiosk. This is the phone kiosk inside of Costco, or at least it was, this died out, I think two years ago. Uh, I made a short about it. It just basically says it, it died and now we have like specific brands in each Costco. So you, you'll find like AT&T, but it's AT&T only or T-Mobile. And I think there might be Verizon ones, but I, I haven't seen any in the three Costco's that I go to. They are T-Mobile and AT&T. But I did this for, I believe, eight months. And it was fun. It was great. I mean, I was really into technology and phones, and I really liked that job. But I, mm, I don't want to say that I'm a bad salesperson. I think I, I did pretty well, all things considered. But I just... It's just, well, it's not what I wanted to do. So Costco was opening a new warehouse closer to where I was going to live. I don't know if that made sense. I, was, I bought a house and uh, it was under construction and they were building a Costco right there. So I was like, I gotta get there. So I applied and I got rehired within the year. So here's my 2014 
tag when I got rehired. Again, I wasn't even gone a whole year. I just got rehired on the spot and I got hired as a cashier. So cashier, cashier, front end, cashier. <laughs> <laughs> and as a cashier in a new warehouse that was kind of slow, I still got to do a lot. I still I still assisted. Um, I went and helped out the tire shop for a couple of months. So that was super fun as well to, I mean, it's pretty basic, right? You just, you're changing tires, getting orders and stuff like that. I also worked in the deli department for about eight months. And that was one of my favorite departments. It's just, <laughs> I hope I, I don't offend anybody, but it was nice because you don't interact with members very often. You're just kind of inside this aquarium where people just see you preparing food and you're just with your team and you prep the food and you put it out. You answer some questions here and there, but you're not really interacting with people that much. And it was kind of nice. I, I really, really liked that. After the deli, I went to bakery for a few months as well. And this was during the peak season as well. So October, November, December. So three months straight went from deli to bakery, got to do a little bit of everything, mostly uh, just wrapping. Uh, I did some cleanup days, which it's hard. Cleaning the bakery is hard. Everything's so heavy. It takes a long time. There's just butter and oil and powdered everywhere. It's, it's hard to clean. But again, because I wasn't interacting with many members, it was kind of nice just to kind of like be in my own space and 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 you get to like talk to your coworkers and yeah bakery was super awesome working f or doing the uh, pumpkin pies was very hard and we pulled some 10 to 12 hour shifts just to get pies done for everybody and it, it was hard you would get there at like 8 p.m you stay overnight and it's like 8 a.m and you're barely leaving and then you are back eight hours later maybe it wasn't that extreme and we got taken care of so <laughs> they were just very long hours. I don't regret any of it. It's all great. I'm glad I had that experience. So deli, bakery, tire shop. Um, as a front end uh, cashier or employee, I also helped a lot in the major sales department. I was never actually a major sales employee, which is the electronics, by the way. But I helped them out quite a bit. And back like you know, eight, 10 years ago, I was more knowledgeable about like technology, like TVs, DVDs, Blu-rays, video games, computers. Like I was more up to date with all of that. So it was easy to, for me, it was easy for me to talk about all of these things. Um, so that was fun to do, but every now and then it would get a little boring and it, all, all we're doing is just cleaning up and making sure everything's straight. <laughs> there were times where I had to go and chase down people. I'm like, hey, do you have any questions? Can I help you with anything? And like, I know I might've come up as, come off as annoying. And if I did, and if you're recognizing me right now, I'm sorry, <laughs> but it was fun. I really liked it. Oh, actually, there was a couple of times throughout my entire front end career, which was from 2010 to 2017, where I worked both morning merch and night merch. So I talk about these positions a little bit in my previous video. Basically, all we do is restock. If you're morning merch, you come in like at 3.30 in the morning, 4 in the morning, 5 in the morning sometimes, and then you just make sure everything's stocked up then cleaned and ready to go for when the store opens. If you're night merch, the shifts would start around 1.30 p.m. or 2.30, depending on how late your shift went. And you're, same thing, just restocking, you're clearing out the empty boxes, you put them in the flat beds, and then you take them into the back to get them crushed. I liked both of these positions as well. Morning merch was a little hard for me because even though I like waking up early, I'm more of a night owl. So it was hard to go to bed early to wake up early. So after a few weeks, I got really tired and it was kind of hard for me to uh, get there on time. So I, I, I got a couple of write-ups for being late uh, when I worked the morning merch. Let's see what else I got here. I got <laughs> the Punisher Defender and Rico Grimes. So these were my Halloween tags. Um, so I dressed as the Punisher one time and I dressed as, it was Rick Grimes from The Walking Dead, but uh, because I'm Latino, Hispanic, I changed it to Rico to be funny. Um, I also found out that not every Costco allows you to do this. There was one location where they were like, yeah, this is fine as long as it's the one time and it's not inappropriate, you can do it. But other than that, I haven't been in any other warehouses where they let you do that. Let's see, what else have I done? Oh, well, 
I don't have a name tag for this. I mean, I don't have a name tag for a lot of these positions because they were more like, it was more like I was on loan to the other departments. But for a little over a year, I became the safety coordinator for the warehouse where basically I just make sure that the whole warehouse, the employees were all up to date with our safety and we take safety very seriously. So yeah, I did that for a little while. That was, that was, it was cool. Between the, the, transition from one warehouse to the other i did become a supervisor for a little while supervising was okay see before i became a supervisor i thought i wanted to climb up the costco ladder and um, in order to become a manager and keep climbing up like you have to do all of these trainings be knowledgeable be a supervisor and then you start doing all these like other trainings but being a supervisor at a time where like my pay was topped out um, meaning like like I reached the cap of races. Supervisor pay wasn't that much, but the work was a lot more. And it was like at the time, I believe it was, it was just a dollar difference. So after doing it for a little while, I was like, well, I could be a supervisor and get 20 bucks an hour, or I could just be a cashier and get 19 bucks an hour and do way less work. <laughs> so I decided to not pursue that way. And so I went into membership. Membership was also another super fun um, department. This is where we do returns. This is where we create memberships. We answer questions. Again, because I, got, I felt like I got an in on like all of the information and I'm, I was able to explain to people better like, hey, this is what your membership does. This is what you can do, what you can't do. Uh, with certain returns, we had to like look into it. Um, like it wasn't as easy as like, yep, here you go, here's your money. Like we need to find items, right? So you feel kind of like a detective. <laughs> that, that might be uh, a little too much, but it was fun. And our team was awesome and everybody takes care of each other. And I think membership uh, gets a lot of hate from members. <laughs> because we're not, we don't, we, we, we follow the rules basically. <laughs> and sometimes it's, it's not in your favor as a member. And uh, yeah, it was fun. I have some stories, man. I mean, maybe, okay, I'm gonna do my live streams um, and where I will tell stories. But yeah, I meant to do that one last week. I had some stuff come up and I couldn't make it, but I do plan on doing a, a live stream this coming weekend. And then every now and then I'll, I'll jump on if you guys like it, so. Uh, loser. Yeah, that seems right. <laughs> so after being in membership for, I think it was a year, I finally got my optical position. This was 2017. I actually cross-trained in optical the year before for a little bit, and I, I loved working in optical. There was something about being able to take your time with a member slash patient and just helping them get their glasses, get their contacts. And I kind of fell in love with the position. So the rest of it is optical. So here's my optician tag, optician. I changed my name again to Isra, uh, optical Israel. And then I became an ABO certified optician. So in order to work in the optical department, you do need to be certified in ABO and NCLE. This one says national, national certified optician. I actually think my state is not technically national. We were made to believe we were, so we had that, but then we just switched it to uh, certified optician. But I've been an optician, this is, that's where I work currently, and I've been an optician since 2017. It is my absolute most favorite department that I've worked at in Costco, and I don't think I'll be going to any other departments. I think that's that's gonna be my last one. So yeah, if I don't know if, I don't know that I've used a lot of my glasses in my videos, but I have so many pairs of glasses. And in fact, the whole reason for me starting in my YouTube channel about Costco is because I wanted to talk about optical because we get a lot of the same questions. We get a lot of misconceptions about how the optical works. And I'm like, oh, I should, I should let people know how it works. And the more people know, then the easier it'll be. But I wanted to start with other stuff first, I guess the whole, a membership crackdown thing happened literally right when I was creating the, the the channel and I was like this would be a good topic to start with kind of get a little bit of traction so yes I did that on purpose because I needed people to come to the channel and now we're at over a thousand and I just want to say 
Thank you so much. This is not meant to replace my job or anything like that. I just really like talking about Costco things and I like answering questions. It's again, membership was one of my favorite departments because I got to answer questions. I got to help you out in understanding and figuring things out. And same thing in optical. The reason I like it so much is because, you know, I, I we get to help people. That's our purpose is to help you give you uh like we want you to have a good time and not feel stressed about like oh man i gotta get glasses i gotta get contacts i gotta spend money it's a little bit easier than that so yeah <laughs> oh and like to show to show off a little bit here's my little little certificate oh man i'm gonna have to block my last name because i don't want you to know who i am not yet <laughs> Yeah, and, and that, and I show you that not. I don't. I'm not trying to show off. I'm trying to show that I do care about the company. Like I've been a Costco employee for 15 years, and they've taken care of me. And I like to think I take care of them enough for them to give me this. Um, <laughs> so yeah, that's uh, that's me. Yeah, this video took a little bit longer than I thought it would. I thought it would be fairly fast but but if you've made it this far thank you for sticking around and getting to know me a little bit further and and i hope that i get to answer your questions as we move forward with uh, with our videos anyway that's it for today's video if you have any questions i'm happy to answer them just let me know in the comment section and uh, i'll get to you as when i can <laughs> all right bye